our breakfast. We're getting ready to walk over to the D23 Expo. And so we've gotta get the essentials first. And I always have to take it like from the back somewhere. I can never take the front one. So we just got over here. Look what they have outside. It's Wally. Oh, hi, Wally. Look, he's waving to you, Evie. Wow. You want to? That's okay. Oh my goodness. Can you say good morning? Good morning. Hi, Wally. You want to blow him a kiss? Oh, that's so nice. Smile. So we have RC. He's an artist and he's working on this mural over the entire D23 weekend. So obviously right now it's not finished. Um, it will be finished by the end of the expo or ultimate fan event I should say because it's not called expo anymore I guess. This is what it's going to look like once it's completed. That is so cool and then it's awesome because you get to see him actually working and creating it during the event. Alright, headed in day two. This is so fun. I'm seeing so many more costumes today. Like over there, oh my gosh, there's Aurora and the animals dressed up in the prince's hat and cloak when they dance with her in the forest. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe that they made that costume and it looks absolutely amazing. What the heck, this is the coolest thing. The things that people think of to create for these events are absolutely amazing. Wow. I can't get over. How long did this this take you guys to do this? Two months. Wow. I would imagine it would take longer. It looks so... Two months and two people. Okay. Well, with two people too. Yeah, it makes sense. You guys did an absolutely fantastic job. I can't even get over it. I just honestly like the detail even that you put in it. Thank you. It's so incredible. Good job. All right. So we made it back into the show floor. And our first stop is at this Disney Dorables spot. Welcome back to Episode Sweetly. Today is day two of the D23. I keep wanting to call it Expo. It is no longer called the Expo. It is now the D23 Ultimate Fan Event. So we're here for day two. We made it in. We had our long, but not too long, and not too terrible, but still pretty hot walk over here from our hotel. And now we're just gonna look around. We've already seen, as you saw, Wally. We saw some really cool costumes. And now we're gonna check out this adorable booth and see what else we get up to today. So this is for the adorables, but it's for the adorbs, which I guess are the little, new little dolls that they're coming out with. The dolls are apparently super fans of the adorables, and they're really cute. Hi! Oh wow! Hello look, there. they have a pretty setup. Ready? We're going to try it. adorable that is so cute so they're selling those really adorable brand new dolls here and they're not available to the public until October so it is kind of an exclusive thing that you can get right now um, they're mystery so I'm still debating if we're gonna get one but they did give each of us adorable as we walked out of that little experience so we all got our own so who knows what we're gonna get this is so much fun I love coming to the D23 Expo Go. what is it what is it? Who do you get? Wow, it's the Snooky character from Zootopia. <laughs> cool. Another one? The other one. John's Progress. Make John's Progress. Wow, it's the, um, the horse, what's his name? The horse from T Rapunzel. That's Rapunzel's horse. What is his name? Maximus. Cute. Yeah, Maximus. Cool. How cool, there goes Madame Leota. And I think this is called a pork, right? Is that what it is? So out here out front, they've gathered, um, I wouldn't say everybody, but an awful lot of the people who have showed up in cosplay to take some photos and videos, I guess. This is so cool, I cannot believe all these different costumes. I'm really truthfully in awe of what people can create. It is so cool. So we're 
coming over back to, to this area. I guess they have something called the marketplace in here that we didn't even realize existed. Um, I swear we're very newbie when it comes to like expo stuff. All right, so we're headed in. There's a bunch of people coming out with big bags full of stuff. Look, this place looks cool. All right, let's go. How fun is this? So they have this Disney princess Lego section and they have all these Disney princess dresses that are made out of Lego. And we have Moana over here. She's even got the heart of Tafiti on. How cool. Here's Cinderella's dress. This is so cool. I love how they do this. They make the coolest things from Lego. I love it. Do you know who this one is? Tiana. I love it. It's beautiful. So they're doing this really fun thing at the Lego booth where we get to do, um, kind of like we did at Brickfest, where we get to complete a tile with Legos and then they're making a mural of the princesses. They're gonna have Moana, Cinderella, and Tiana once this is all completed. And we got two of these little things to work on. So we're gonna be a part of the Cinderella mural. This is what it's gonna look like once it's all finished. And we're just taking the little bricks and replacing our little mosaic. dark side booth and they have this little area where you get to play like arcade games. We've got basketball and the ski ball and then they've got some cool displays over there and then they're doing some kind of a giveaway so we'll see what it is once we get over there. booth Marvel style and look oh, at sorry. this <laughs> we have a sugar I know it's not really sugar but all I see is sugar how insane is this they have this called Pixar putt it's up here in the back and they literally have a little mini golf themed to Pixar that you can come and play back here <laughs> oh my goodness I can't get over this I just feel like this is so much fun so we have turning red right here okay. Monsters Inc. Oh my gosh. And you literally put your little golf ball through the doors. That is adorable. We have Finding Nemo back over there in the back. Ratatouille in the middle. Oh my goodness. I don't think we're going to have time to play. But this is so much fun. We have Coco back there. Cars. Claw with the aliens. Oh my goodness. For Toy Story. Inside Out. The Coco Bridge. And then on the bottom um, is the guitar. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. How adorable. 
This has been one of the things that I am so insanely excited for. They have the Disney Publishing here and they are debuting or releasing some of their new books at the event. And I want this one. Well, I want all of them, but you see this one down here, Dream Chasing by Bob Weiss. I really would love that. Directing at Disney. <laughs> How strange is this? Like they have this early access to this new book, which is Run Amok, Hocus Pocus, the Oral History. That looks like a lot of fun. It says this book is a love letter to Hocus Pocus's millions of devoted fans and a fascinating read for anyone who wants to understand how the Disney movie became a pop culture phenomenon. That is incredibly interesting. And I think that would be a fun Halloween time read. Maybe like summer into Halloween time, like when it's just starting to become Halloween feel. They've also got some very special releases like Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey's Coffee Blend from Joffrey's Coffee here. There's a super long line for that, so I'm not gonna get in the line for that, even though I love some coffee, and Joffrey's Coffee is really tasty. Um, I've had their like Harvest Blend before, and it was really good. But the book that I wanted, the Dream Chasing one, they were out of, I think that it's because Bob Weiss was maybe here signing them yesterday. I'm not sure of the timeline of everything, but so I didn't have the one that I wanted. Well, the main one that I wanted. Obviously, I want like, Probably most of those books that were in there. But dang. Time for some lunch. We got some food from the food trucks this time. Some burrito bowls. <laughs> and I got a taco plate with rice and beans. So we've taken our lunch break. I wanted to tell you guys about that Disney store thing that we did. So basically they had this queue that you could go in and you could take the big photo op in front of a huge pile of plush from the Disney store. And then you get to go into the back and play the little claw machine and win a free plushie. So we got, what did we get? What plushies did we get? We got Minnie Mouse, Simba, and Goofy. Yeah. But it was cute because even if you didn't actually get the, the plushie with the claw, like if you didn't actually win, they still let you take it home. So it was a lot of fun. We had a really great time doing it. And then so after that, we just went down to the food trucks and got some lunch. The girls are pretty much falling asleep now. Um, and we're just planning on kind of walking around a little bit more and getting to see some more of the stuff that we didn't get to see yesterday. So we're still having a fantastic day. As we're eating, they have a little van walking by. The G23 band. So how cute is this? Amanda just pointed out to me that the little area where they are selling some food, this is one of them, they have a couple, but it's called the Eat Ticket. That's adorable. <laughs> I love it. We just got another little pick-me-up. Because you got to, man. It's a lot of walking we've done today and yesterday and the day before. Ugh. this setup here it shows the inner workings of steam boiler trains this is the type of train that they have going around Disneyland for the Disneyland Railroad we went through the adorable line again and got a few more and they have really cute photo ops in there too and then we just got this one adorables they have. Oh no way you got John from Peter Pan Evie. That's Wendy's brother. What'd you get Tal? We got John. Let me see the other one you got Evie. Is it Tinkerbell? Evie you got Tinkerbell and John. Oh that's adorable. This is the ones Tallulah got. Fuzzy Dalmatian. That's adorable. Tinker. Tallulah loves Inside Out, and they have a cool little photo op over here. 
Look at how cute is this little guy. He's just like showing off for everybody. Being all cute, interacting. It is so adorable. Look at him. We have this really amazing photo op set up for Encanto. Look at how pretty this is. Look at the little like doors represented. It's so beautiful. Uh oh, Luisa's door is flickering. They have this fun little Disney Junior section. Oh, uh oh. And the girls are playing music. And they have this big like dance party screen over here. Oh, it's so cute! And then Tallulah gets a much needed 
squishy pillow seat. Wow, Evie, you're making music? video of that guy. He gets shocked if he touches it. such a fantastic time oh my gosh that was so much fun I feel like we get to do a lot of stuff even though we didn't get to do any of like the real panels and things like that because obviously we couldn't with the girls so other than that we we did get to do a lot and there was a lot of fun experiences and things that we were able to do and it was so much fun so I'm so happy that we got to go and once we came outside there's a bunch of people just mixing and mingling out here who are still in all of their costumes just enjoying getting to be around other cosplayers and other people who appreciate all of their costumes. I know I do. Heading out and the artwork is so much more close to finish. So I'm noticing there's six characters and he's gotten two done each day. So unfortunately for us, we're not gonna get to see the last two completed, but that's okay. It looks great like this. And it was cool to get to see him doing it. I didn't. Yeah, you didn't, sorry. All right, that's it for our D23 ultimate fan experience, or fan event, fan ultimate fan event. No, D23, the ultimate Disney fan event. There we go. Bye-bye, D23. It was a fantastic time. Last night I saw on Instagram, so they said that there was a Harry Potter art expo right here next to the Disney expo. And then when we were coming in this morning, they also said the same thing, like they were standing at the entrance and they were telling us that the expo is over here. So we have come over to the Marriott so that we could check out the expo. Um, the It says anime art and Harry Potter art, so I'm not totally sure <laughs> exactly what it is, but we'll see. This place is like a Taylor Swift concert. Empty. <gasps> well, we walked all the way in here and <laughs> got over to the doors and they're locked because it's closed. Dang. 
Okay, so I forgot to film this when this looked nice, but we have come to we have come to P.O. Chang's for dinner. We liked half of it and didn't like half of it. Some of the stuff had way too much ginger in it. The Disneyland fireworks are going on right now. We can see the teensy little bitest of them. You're clappy? Yeah? You like those fireworks? And Evie's all excited. <laughs> she gets scared of the sound. We're walking right past the Cheesecake Factory to go back to our hotel room and I just felt like I absolutely had, had, had to have some cheesecake. So that's what we're gonna do, get a little bit of cheesecake. This is what we went with, the Cinnabon cheesecake, and it looks so good. We've had this one before. I think we've had almost every single cheesecake there. It feels like we have. We probably haven't really, but it feels like we have. And they're all delicious. All right, so we have made it back to our hotel room after what felt like the longest walk in the world. Um, it's really not, it's not that far away from the convention center, so it is a great place to stay if you are gonna be doing something there because, you know, there's a lot of space in the room. Um, it's a good family place to stay. And you can walk to the convention center. I would just say that if you're doing something where you are gonna be walking around the convention center for that many hours, that walking back to the hotel after that long day is feels terrible so keep that in mind so we are having a fantastic trip I feel like I didn't get to say enough about everything that was going on because everything is just so hectic like it's been literally non-stop this entire time honestly everything at the expo was so cool I really wish that we had we didn't think we would need the three-day ticket when we bought them but I wish we did buy the three-day ticket because there was still so much on just that we didn't get to see and we didn't do any panels So I'm just talking about not even including panels just all the extra other stuff We didn't get to do all of that like there was still so much more that we wanted to see so I do wish that we had another day So I think next time I'm gonna attempt to try to do the whole three days. I feel like that would be really cool and then um I don't know what my favorite part about the expo was. All of it was so cool. Just seeing like the behind the scenes stuff, like how they make things. Um, they put a lot of, of effort into that. Oh, the Pandora walkthrough was, it was absolutely stunning, stunning. It felt like being in Walt Disney World. It was beautiful. I just, I loved that so much. So, I don't know. We just had an absolutely like amazing time. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed getting to see our experience from day two of the D23 Ultimate Disney Fan Event. I think I said it right that time. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoy my content and leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys, so that would be great if you could do that. The next video in this series is going to be our last day at our hotel and out in Anaheim. We're going to go to the water park and pool for the hotel and we're going to spend some time in downtown Disney. It's going to be a lot of fun. So watch out for that one. I'll see you guys next time.